Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. Every lab can benefit from having a signal generator. And this is my signal generator. It's one of those cheap uh, eBay signal generators. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I want to say somewhere between 50 and 100 dollars. So certainly not the most expensive one, but not the cheapest. You can actually buy cheaper signal generators. I bought this one because it had uh, pretty de decent reviews. It has some nice features, um, so I, I decided to go with this one. And it really serves me quite well. I'm quite pleased with it. Of course, I could use features of, of a much better signal generator, uh, but this one gets the job done for the most part. There's only one thing that I'm missing in this meter, or in, in the signal generator, and that's a sync pulse. Uh, when you generate a sweep function, uh, the this generator doesn't send out uh, a pulse at the beginning of the sweep, so it's difficult to use the um, oscilloscope with uh, with this function generator for sweeping frequencies. But other than that, it works pretty good. But what if you don't want to spend the money on even this simple uh, signal generator? Well, you can simply use your cell phone. And this is a signal generator running on my cell phone. It's just a simple app that you can install and it actually does a pretty decent job. Right now this signal generator is running on my ancient Motorola Razr or I don't even know what, what this phone is called. Droid maybe? I don't know. It's really old by today's standards. But it, it actually works pretty good. I was surprised. I, I, I first tried using uh, this signal generator on a much newer phone which is LG um, I don't remember the model number but it's like I don't know maybe four years old or so and that phone only generated a signal of amplitude of 400 millivolts. That was the amplitude on, on the output, on the audio output. This one actually generates signal with an amplitude of 2 volts. So that's actually quite useful already. You can, you can do some tests. And basically all you need is uh, an audio cable. I just used a cable from a pair of old headphones. The headphones stopped working, wore out. So I just cut off this cable and put a connector on, on the cable. Just like so. This is the, the other end of the cable. So here's a cable coming out of my phone. Yada yada yada. And it's terminated. I just put these uh, two pin connectors on the end of the cable. So left left channel and right channel. Two channels. Two channel output. And I connected this to my oscilloscope. So this is a probe that attachment to my oscilloscope. And I'm generating uh, sine wave right now and yeah it looks pretty good see this is it's supposed to be 440 Hertz signal it's pretty close to it my scope measures somewhere around 440 and the amplitude is almost 2 volts peak to peak and it's a nice clean sine wave so let's play with this signal generator and let's see what else it can do. And actually, because I first started testing this with my other phone that had a very small amplitude, um, I actually put together a quick circuit with an op amp. This is just a regular LM358 op amp on a breakout board. And um, I just wanted to amplify the signal coming out of the, the other phone. But with this phone, with the amplitude of 2 volts, I might not, not even need to do this. So let's take a look at what this thing can do for us. So as you can see, this function generator has two channels. Right now I'm connected uh, to channel 2 on my scope. And you can adjust frequency, amplitude. You use just this slider to adjust your setting. 
So you can increase, decrease. Now there we go. Now it started adjusting. So now we're at 20% uh, amplitude and the signal shrunk. Now I'm increasing the amplitude and the signal is growing. And I like how this slider um, changes the speed. If you slide it just a little bit, the change, the, the value changes slowly. And then if you go farther out, the value changes faster. So here we go. This is 3.8 volt actually, peak to peak. That's the maximum 100% amplitude, which that's, that's pretty cool. I like this. And of course you have different waveforms. You have your triangle waveform and square wave. Square wave has some ringing, but hey, it's a phone. <laughs> it's I think that this is pretty darn good for, for a cell phone. You can uh, change your setting by clicking on frequency and using the slider. Or you can just click on enter value and just punch in a number. And then select the range millihertz, hertz, and kilohertz. So let's go with the hertz. 540 hertz. And yeah, that's what my scope measures right now. All right, so now I have, now I have, uh-oh, I'm out of memory on my uh, main cell phone, so you, you can't see the screen and recording. I guess I'll just hold my signal generator phone in front of my scope here and just go with one recording device. So I switched both channels to 440 hertz and looks like channel one is actually having a little bit of a problem. It's chopping off the bottom of the um, sine wave. That's not too good. But that may be just this, this phone. And so going back to adjusting phase, right now I can change the phase between the two signals and you can see you can see the uh, channel 2 moving. So you can have an, a phase offset between the two signals and you can adjust your bias. Right now it's not doing anything. I'm not sure why. But anyway, so you can you can make a lot of adjustments here, uh, change a lot of values, and of course generate different signals. Right now I switch channel two to uh, triangle. Now square wave, and you can turn channels off and on. Or you can turn the generation of the signal off altogether. Then you can set up your sweep. You can set your uh, frequency sweep and all kinds of neat settings. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, yeah, you don't even need to spend money on a signal generator if you have a cell phone uh, with Android and you just install this dual channel function generator, just look in, in your app store and install it. And that's that's a very handy utility. So give that a, a try.